This installation was particularly fun for us because we've always tried to do something that speaks a little bit inward toward Landor and what we do here. We're either showcasing one of the brands that we work on or showcasing one of the, the different crafts that we practice in here. This one we really just decided to be a gift for the city. We want people to just do a double take and kind of be taken in by the magic of the projection. The community response has been overwhelming. They're remembering a time when they used to come to our building here in Chilitos and what they used to feel when they would come down with their families and look at the beautiful windows here. And this was our opportunity to sort of bring that, that heritage piece back to the building but in a, in a more modern and updated way. We all got in a room, post-it notes, images, everyone's throwing ideas out. And all of a sudden, one of the sketches that was presented by our environments group clicked exactly with what I had been thinking, which was this projection mapping technique. So they had kind of designed this idea of winter wonderland, knowing that it would be kind of fun for the windows to build on each other as you walk down the street. And then when I came in, I just said, well, what if the sculptures were just white and really well lit during the day mode, and then they come to life at night with projection mapping? New Media and uh, the environments team, we work really great together. We built the environment, New Media dressed it. Everything was white, so that was really simple as far as the color is concerned. It's a chance to do some of the stuff that we always used to do in school, like getting dirty and you know, getting off the computer for a while. This was by far our most technical endeavor for the windows, and that's where Warren Harrison kind of stepped in from our team and played this role on the back end. So each window had two projectors in it, and there was a Mac Pro hooked up to each, and then the Mac Pro on the net is on the network so that we could easily drop movie clips into a playlist on each window and update it over the network. We had these two images, each side, right and left. Basically, these were what the projector would see. So it was actually kind of a crazy looking image. We went in and, and masked out all the areas that the object would populate, basically. So the object alone is being highlighted. It really creates a, an optical illusion of that the objects actually seem to glow. With any of these window projects, it's, it's really a whole Landor effort. The core team become all encompassed in that effort for a month, month and a half. But what happens is the rest of the office has to, to fill in the gap. The, the way that we all work together to bring something together so quickly and so fast and actually I think really, really sort of breakthrough is really amazing. And it's always fun for us on the day that they do go live to see everyone kind of feel like, oh, okay, this is what we were working extra hard for and to really feel proud about it. Not only did we inspire our people, but we've inspired our community to uh, to take notice again and to look at Chilitos as a place uh, of, of creative energy, and uh, we couldn't be more pleased.